This is how I built my culvert retaining wall, wing wall system. And the first thing here was putting in the key so that it would be well established in the ground underneath the pipe, below the pipe level with uh, concrete bags. The first row, as you see here, uh, get rebar in there right away because those first two or three rows were going to be setting up first on their own because the water comes from the bottom. Once you have that rebar in there, you can go ahead and start stacking some more bags and cover it at night if it rains. Right here is where I put rebar horizontally through the bags and they go into the culvert itself. You could put as many in as you wanted in between the bags. However, I'm going to be showing you the way I did it perpendicular. Here threaded rods are put into the culvert to hold the bags that are going to go on the top. This will keep them from separating from the culvert. And they'll give it some more structure. The rods you see here are put in at an angle to tie back the bags at the bottom at a 45 degree angle. So it ties all those bags together. Try to stack the bags and pack them to the front with the concrete so they're a little bit smoother when they set up. You pack them as hard as you can before you put them on those rods. That way you can control the shape and press them in. This is the longer rods that are going to be tied into the bottom ones. And they're driven in and they reach into the bags that already had the, the rebar in them. This is the culvert retention wall that I'm putting in right now. It's a 50 foot culvert, 60 by 50. And I'm trying to keep it from washing out. I use rebar at various angles. Going down through the different levels. Of course, the bottom part goes all the way un underneath the pipe. And the back is filled. I decided to extend the wall a little bit out, so I ran some rebar through the bags and put it further out.
starting to make some real progress here. So uh, I decided to backfill this area with with some rock and some various items. I broke up some uh, sandstone and um, there's some limestone in there. And you put the concrete right on it dry and then it just adds some water and it just sets right up. I'm not really mixing concrete in there. I'm just uh, putting it in there and it sets up as solid as could be with all that rip wrap and rock. You can take the bags and actually take the concrete out and resize the bags as you wish for the various row heights. Here uh, 80 pound bags are going to bridge these two rows and then I'll put concrete on the back as, an, as a spillover and a kind of a finish up there. Because I don't like it to crack, I put rebar in it. Probably isn't necessary, but I do it. And it's just about done, except for putting some stone in. And then um, I remove some of that soil, and I put some riprap in there and concrete to really solidify the spillover. And that's about it. Really enjoy doing this project, and I hope you enjoy doing yours. Have a good day.